all ready and waiting hello hello facebook how is everybody i was just saying to our friends on instagram there is a reason why i'm wearing this lovely hat indoors uh, because i'm going to be joined by a very special guest in just a minute we're going to be talking about sustainable fashion fab hats and all the rest of it you may have seen actually if you were looking at my instagram last week was it last week or the week before and i was doing some filming for this morning and i was out with my bees on the farm because we've got hives here and i was wearing my hat because it was partly sunny and uh, I just love this because it's got if you see it's got hand-painted bees on it isn't that so beautiful um, anyway this has become my my smart gardening hat and because I'm not doing much traveling at the moment but it will be my travel sun hat as well so I'm going to be joined by the founder of the fab sustainable hat company Nadia in just a moment hopefully and the way that always works because I'm on two platforms here live currently if you're watching me in real time on Monday lunchtime I've got Instagram, which is Liz L. Me, and that's where I can do the split screen so I can invite somebody to come and have a chat with me. Alas, I can't do that on Facebook, but you will be able to hear. So hopefully you'll be able to hear everything that Nadia and I chat about, even if you can't actually see Nadia. Or if you want to see her, then do hop over to Facebook, uh, to Instagram because I will save that. All my Instagram lives do get saved to IGTV, which is that little middle button on the screen. It looks like a bit of a fuzzy TV set. And if you click on that, up come all my live broadcasts that get saved. So that's always a really good thing. And of course, on Facebook, that also saves just chronologically so you can just scroll back if you want and replay things and of course welcome to YouTube very nice to be talking on YouTube as well YouTubers if you're watching me later in the day then if you want to click on any of the links then you can either go to lizarwellbeing.com because that's where I put most of the information either as Liz Loves if you want to hear all about the discounts or links to podcasts or articles I talk about that kind of thing um, or of course you could then go over and check out Facebook if you want or Instagram so lots of comments and questions that have come in I've got the lovely Amy who's managing Facebook today hi Amy hope you had a good weekend sending you hearts from the farm so Amy is going to be uh, filling in all the comments and chatting and monitoring on Facebook hey Anne you're just saying you're watching from Brisbane thank you so much love the hat great yeah let's get talking about that in just a sec um, let me know where you're chatting from where you're listening really nice to know um, so Nadia oh Nadia said you can't link in okay so basically if you have a look at the bottom of your screen Nadia you'll see I think two little kind of faces like this if you click on that it should say request to join live so let me just see whether I've got your request here uh, have you requested no you haven't requested me okay so have a look at that Nadia um, and then you'll see two little faces and you just click on that and it says a request and then it sends me a little notification say that you've requested to be in my video and then I click and I accept you and then the screen splits so there we go watching from Cheshire hi Joe and Nottingham hello hello Justin you're in Cheshire as well Sharon in Belfast Sally North Devon not too far from me I'm on the edge of the West Country so not particularly great day is it it's a bit grey, a bit grey and overcast. When I woke up this morning, I could barely see, actually, beyond the edge of the farm fields because we had such thick mist. I don't know if it was mist or fog, but anyway, I think that means that better weather is coming. That's what I've heard, anyway. I've heard, fingers crossed, that we're in for a bit of an Indian summer, which is good because I've got my, my summer gear on. Right, I can see I've had some more requests to join video. So there we go. No, still no Nadia. Okay, Nadia, um, keep trying. Keep trying. Have a look. Maybe hop on if you... What I ever do when I can't find how to do stuff is I just hop onto Google because it's just amazing. If you just put how do I, you know, join a Facebook Live or how do I reset my printer or whatever it is, it's always worth and whenever I talk to my technical team and I say, oh, I've got a problem with this techie thing, they say, have you looked up online how to do it? Because so often there are tutorials and forums and things like that. Caroline says, love your hat. Hi. Well, stay tuned because I've got news on that. Uh, who's having a micro holiday in the West Country? Ah, oh, Roro. Excellent. Lots of people tuning in from the West Midlands. 
here we go okay i tell you what while we wait for nadia let me get through and talk to you um, about a few questions that have come in because i've had lots of questions thank you to all of those who leave questions you can leave questions and comments obviously on facebook you can also leave comments on youtube if you like i tend not to pick those up so much in real time but definitely the team and i do check um, so please do do that right so a couple of questions here uh, this is lots of menopause questions, always. There always seem to be lots of menopause questions. This was from Beth, who says, um, uh, do you have any information about menopause and fibroids and being asked to use the Mirena progestogen? Um, that's from Beth on Instagram. Yes, okay, so first of all, I've written three guides to the menopause. There's also lots of information online. LizardWellbeing.com has a whole section called Healthy Menopause. So it's always worth having a look at that because we put all our menopause features in one place, just like we put all our gut health features in one place, because those are the two subjects that I've written my most recent books about. And they're the ones that I get asked about time and time again. So we've put all the information, lots of free articles, podcasts that you can download. It's a really good free resource for you. And then I've got three books. So my first book was The Good Menopause Guide. That was published a few years ago now, and that's a hardback book. And it's a really good general overview if you want to have kind of like one blueprint hardback book that you can keep that you can easily refer back to. And half of that book is recipes. So it's all about eating well during menopause and perimenopause, which technically tends to happen usually around our 40s on average. It's when our estrogen levels start to decline. So I've got a lot about low GI eating, low sugar eating, you know, keeping good quality fats because we need our fat to create good quality hormones. Uh, so take a look at that. And then I've got two e-guides. So the first is a really simple, straightforward guide to a healthy menopause. So it's 4 99 download, really worth it if you just want to have a really good in-depth look at everything to do with perimenopause and menopause. And then secondly, and this one might be useful for you if you're asking about really Mirena and progesterone and progestogens, then that's the truth about HRT. And that is specifically on HRT. My book only has one chapter on HRT. So, you know, it's a, it's a much broader topic. Um, but if you really specifically want to know about HRT, then I suggest that that's the download you need. Now, fibroids obviously is a specific health issue. And the best place to go to get information on fibroids and menopause is menopause doctor. So if you head to menopausedoctor.co.uk, she has a really good information sheet specifically dedicated, written by a medic, specialist expert advice and information all about how to deal with fibroids. And yes, it's perfectly possible to have estrogen, to take HRT if you have fibroids. And she explains all of that. And we've talked about it before in podcasts as well. So I hope that's helpful. My view on the Mirena coil is that it's a really useful part of your progesterone therapy. Technically, HRT is usually estrogen and progesterone. And you can have body identical progesterone in the form of eutrogestan that you take maybe every day, which is what I do. Um, or you can have a little tiny dose of progestogen, and that's a synthetic progesterone, which is in the coil. So that actually works. It's very good if you've got heavy periods because it basically stops your periods. So for many women, it can be used to help prevent having a hysterectomy, for example, due to heavy periods. But it also can supply your progesterone part of HRT. So, and it's also contraceptive. So it's actually, it can be a win-win-win for many, many women. Um, so that certainly could be a potentially very good option to consider. But I write much more about this in my e-guide, The Truth About HRT, and of course, lots of information on menopausedoctor.co.uk. So I hope that's helpful. I'm just going to click on here and to see if we have a request yet from Nadia. No, we don't. Oh, dear Nadia, I do hope you're going to be able to join us. So basically, you just need to be, I think you're on my Instagram, aren't you? because you're, um, I'm getting messages from you. So uh, let me just keep checking. So basically it just says at the bottom of the Instagram, it just says go live with, and it gives you um, a little option to click on that. And that gives a request that says you want to go live with me. And then I see that, that pops up on my screen and I then click and I accept you. So hopefully 
that's what will happen. Otherwise, Nadia, I'm just going to have to tell everybody about your beautiful hats <laughs> and send them to your website, which I will do definitely if we can't talk in person. Um, OK, so a couple of other questions here. This is from Amanda on Instagram. And she says, hi, Liz, I'm just completing my first month of HRT and I'm feeling so much better for it. However, one of the downsides is that my skin seems to think it's 13 again and painful acne has returned to my face. So, yes, basically, um, acne is often a hormonal imbalance. So it may well be a settling down of the hormones. You don't say whether you have testosterone as part of your HRT because that can also potentially trigger. So it should settle down. Usually in the first few months of HRT, it can take three to six months for things to settle down and for your body just to kind of to adjust to having its lovely new uh, young set of hormones again that have replaced the ones that have been declining. Um, so it's something to certainly keep an eye on. Again, there's information on Menopause Doctor if you specifically want to key in with that. But don't be alarmed. It should settle and you may just need to adjust the dose. You may need to scale back a little bit. But I would make sure that you get your menopause symptoms sorted and under control and then um, start to fine tune it, start to tweak it. Uh, OK, so Kathy, you're looking lovely today. Thank you. Um, which color lippy or lip gloss are you wearing? So this is a bright pink color. It's like a bubblegum color from um, Kanye Vies. I wouldn't say Kanye West. It's not. He's a pop star. Uh, but it's Kajak Vice, something like that. Anyway, I know, Amy, you'll probably find a link to it because I wrote about it in one of the Liz Loves. It's on my video tutorial, actually, if you have a look back. Um, and see but yeah it's just a kind of a bright bubble gummy pink I love the beauty pie lip colors they've also got some really pretty kind of hot pink lip glosses which I also really like okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to have one more check on here uh, then <laughs> I've got lots of people helping trying to help Nadia find us go live uh, okay so I can't see. There is no request to join. I don't know whether you've clicked on it, Nadia. Um, but basically, I found Nadia and her amazing sustainable hat brand. It must be about a year or so ago. And if you followed me on Instagram when I was in Kenya at the beginning part of this year, then I took one of her beautiful hand-painted hats to Lamu, to Kenya. Uh, and that's where I first wore it. And this one I wore for my filming... Um, on this morning because I was filming with my bees and look can you see it's been hand painted with bees isn't that so beautiful it's a really lovely classic classic shape and what I'm really excited about today is for the first time ever we have got an exclusive for Liz Loves yeah so not only is Nadia giving us a discount on her beautiful hats but you can only get them with Liz Our Wellbeing and Liz Loves. Isn't that amazing? So Nadia C's website, I know that you will, Amy, you'll pop a link, won't you, my love, on Facebook. And there is a link, of course, on Linktree on my Instagram. And Nadia has created four designs, all hand-painted. And these are hand-painted by artisans in Colombia. And what I love about Nadia and her sustainable brand is that 70% of the proceeds here go back to the people who are making these in Colombia, 70%. Okay, so we're not just talking, you know, a few percent or, you know, 10% or whatever, seven zero, not 17, but 70. I've never come across a brand, I have to say, that puts back so much to its suppliers. Isn't that incredible? And she uses sustainable um, materials to make it. They're all handmade. Uh, yeah, I mean, they are just very very lovely and I think they are normally these classic hats I think are normally they're quite pricey they're 175 pounds because they're like a designer hat handmade and hand painted but we've got 25 pounds off the four designs that are exclusive for the Liz Earl or the Liz Loves program and there is this one with bees there's a really fun one with lobsters <laughs> so if you're somebody who lives by the sea Maybe you're married to a fisherman. Uh, maybe you just love lobster. And uh, anyway, maybe you're heading off to the beach. Then there's the lobster one. There's also a brilliant toucan, brightly coloured toucan. And uh, what is the fourth one? Oh, my goodness. I can't remember. Let's see whether Nadia. Um, OK, there we go. Oh, look, Nadia is getting more help. There we go. So maybe you have to come off it. Now. Hey, oh, it says unable to join. But I can see you on here, Nadia. 
Okay, so come off, stop following me, Nadia, and then come back on again, okay, and then request to join, and then hopefully, hopefully it will work. Fingers crossed. And you can tell us what the fourth design is because it's gone clean out of my head. I've got a note of it somewhere so I can always look it up. Anyway, you need to head to her website and you'll see that she's put, just for a very, very limited time, there is an exclusive thing. Turtle! Thank you, Victoria. How can I forget the turtle? <gasps> Who loves turtles? Oh, my goodness. I was watching this awful um, documentary about all the plastics in the ocean and about how they get all caught up in the turtles and it's just so sad and I uh, know that Tusk which is one of the charities that I support works with marine conservation in Lamu actually Carol Caution who's the wonderful owner of the Paponi Hotel in Lamu Carol I know sometimes you watch and tune in so big hearts if you are watching and do you remember that we used to go and look at the turtle hatching on the beach again I put that on my Instagram stories when I was over there I think I was wearing one of Nadia's hats that day actually and she also rescues turtles and when they get washed up on the shore and they're so choked up with plastics and all the bits of sort of ring pulls or you know those uh, they're normally um, sort of like plastic maybe fours or sixes that little white plastic sets of rings that hold things like coke cans together and then you just pull them off and then you know out come all your um, your tin cans well those are really deadly because they get caught over turtles snouts and flippers and things and they can't get them off and it's really debilitating so what carol and her team at paponi hotel do is they they will bring in turtles and very often if you're staying there they'll have a turtle rescue and they'll bring it in and they'll put it in the big sort of salt water bath and they'll clean off all the, the bits that have got stuck to it and just kind of help to flush it through and just set it back on its way. It's really, really amazing. So if you love turtles, if you are a turtle fan, there are a few beautiful turtle hats as well. Okay, so let us see uh, whether that's going to work. Nadia C. Hats has requested to join. So it now says waiting for Nadia. So let's see. I'm going to have to put my hat on and see whether it's... Um, might put my hat on. Hi. Hey, you are I'm here. So sorry, you've oh. done a, a lovely job all by yourself about my hat. <laughs> so thank you so much. Well, I'm very, um, very pleased that you're here because I know a bit about your hats, but what I really would love you to tell us is your story. Uh, you know, what's the backstory? Because I am so impressed that you put so much, thank you so much. back to the artisans, to the communities who are making these lovely things. How did that all start? How did you get involved with this? Oh, God. So I, I spent a lot of time in Colombia when I was 18. Okay. Many moons ago. Many moons ago now. Um, and so my love for Colombia and uh, whatever really started then, the, yeah. the passion of, of the country. Um, and I've lived in South America quite a bit but I was I'm really from a footballing background uh, but my degree was in fashion and textiles and marketing um, and I just kind of had enough of that industry yeah. and it's it's a long story but basically I um, my ex-boyfriend's sister uh, showed me these hats and I was in that interim period of my life as I think we all hit at some point and I just thought, you know what, let's do this. Let's get a few over for, um, it was it was summertime, two yeah. and a half years ago. Wow. And I got a hundred hats arrived and I thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with these? Um, and then it just snowballed and I loved the project. Obviously, yeah. as you said, the 70% of the money goes back yeah. to the artisans. So they are genuine Panama hats. Um, they're handmade with tortilla straw um, on the Colombian Ecuadorian border. So, so what 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 kind of straw is that? Because what really impresses me actually is how fine it is. I mean, they are beautifully, yeah. beautifully made. This is not just your average straw hat. This is a it, real work of art. art. Yes. Okay. Um, so so it, it's it's tortilla straw. So the sustainability aspect from it is that it is made from. Tokia straw, which is readily grown and available within Colombia and Ecuador. Right. And um, also, on. they should, <laughs> if you look after them, they should last you a lifetime. Amazing. Um, yeah, they should. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to look <laughs> now, now tell us about care, because can I get this wet? What happens if I go out on a drizzly day? So, so they are they are natural, um, 
they are in our tool store, as I said. So, yeah, if you do get them wet, all you need to do is just leave them to dry okay. naturally. Not, ne- not, not by a radiator, really, just in natural, you know. And then once they are dry, you can just kind of reshape them. Okay, so this is, this is what Nadia's doing. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that just for the benefit of everybody on Facebook who's, who can't see they can hear your lovely voice so you just sort of reshape okay. them push them put them back into shape yeah okay yeah, you can just but you can also you can iron these hats now you can iron you them mine. I don't, yeah <laughs> how, how, so how do you iron a hat firm or you, so you literally get the, the put, put the brim on the ironing board like upside that. down okay put put a tea towel on it yeah cotton setting a bit of steam and just oh. keep going. And again, leave the hat just to dry because it will be slightly damp. Yep. And then shape it. It will all be ironed out then. So How amazing. And tell us about the sizes because these hats come in three sizes. How do we know what size hat to get? They, they, they come in small, medium and large. So, so this is the toucan one you were talking about. Oh, the yeah. toucan. So basically, guys, it's got toucans painted all around the brim. And then a couple of little painted toucans here instead of the bees. My, mine, mine's got bees on it. Okay, yeah, so th- this one, as an idea, this says on it, it says four. Yes, which is a small. Leg. That's a small. a small. I'm a small. I've got a small this... head. Have I? I haven't got a big head. No, you've got a very small head. So the, but this is the bees that we're doing as the list loves. It's slightly yep. different to the one you've got. The okay. one you have is from my collection. It's, it looks, it looks the, almost uh, the same to me. I can't really tell the difference, to be honest. Yeah, so, so the, the, on all of yours, on all the list loves, the band is, is deeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's nice. I prefer that, actually. It's got a deeper yeah. band. Yeah. And then it's got your two little bees here. And then these are more golden, the bees. There's not, uh, sorry, more yellow. Yours more like more a honeybee. And a little bit smaller. Yeah. Um, I so who, 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 who so, I love the lobsters, I love the lobster <laughs> ones too. They're really fun. They remind me of kind of Salvador Dali. They're just a little bit surreal. Um, yeah, so I'm who has painted around. these? Who t- t- tell so, us about the people who are painting them? Right. So the artisans in Cartagena paint them, which is uh, coastal Colombia, right. um, Caribbean coastal Colombia. Sorry, and um, yeah, we have several artisans that paint them, and. As, again, you said, 70% of the money from the project goes back. And, you know, yeah. Colombia does have extreme poverty. So um, through the project, uh, one of the artisans has been able to send his daughter to private school because, uh, as you can imagine, the state system isn't no. fabulous. Um, one of them has been able to get uh, by his son a barber's shop to set his son up in business yeah, this is all through you selling your all, hats and doing all, this project all through the project yeah so uh one of them has been able um to he's a senior citizen so he's been able to uh, keep his house and keep his lifestyle and another one of them has been able to to buy a house for his family so oh my goodness we're we're really um you've got yeah, a big big family bad. over there of, of beneficiaries which is yeah so great it, Colombia is a country that's very close to my heart. I think like Kenya is to you, you know, yeah. it's, it's, and I still go out there a lot. And so I just want to thank everybody that does buy our hats because you really are helping yeah. people. It's, it's so nice. I mean, what I love about the whole kind of Liz Loves kind of program, I guess, for want of a better word, is that I'm able to shine a spotlight on little yeah, brands you like have, you. you know, well I'm so welcome you know I only do it when I I have to genuinely love it first of all otherwise it can't be a Liz loves you know by definition and then if I find things where people are really trying to make a difference and you know we're all going we're all going to consume aren't we we're all going to you know drink drink coffee and eat chocolate and you know buy (laughs) you know clothes and all the rest of it so let's at least make wise choices and if we can you know help others along the way with our own spending power you know it's a win-win isn't it because we get to have lovely things beautifully made that last they don't just fall apart you know we're not talking about cheap fashion we're last you know we're talking about kind of potentially heirloom pieces that have got some heritage to them 
and you can just and hopefully carry a lot of stories with them as yeah. well you know because you take them to fabulous places and yeah but what i was going to say about these uh, these four designs so as you know these are exclusive to you um mm. to the list loves we only have a limited amount okay. of them as well we've Fine. got i think about 30 in total across the four designs oh my goodness right so guys <laughs> Once these designs have gone, they are not going to be repeated. They are just for you, Liz. Right. Um, so, with the discount code. Um, and, so, and you've yeah. set us up on your website. So, there is actually a whole little section now just for the yeah. moment while stocks last. And I did actually yeah. notice that you, because I checked it this morning, just, yeah. and it does say, you know, stocks are very limited. So, it's, yeah. it's a small, special thing. If you want to be yeah. part of the Nadia C hat gang, yeah, um, then it is. It is. You just click on the Liz Loves button. It takes you to the four designs. Use the. It, you cannot buy without your code. You've got to put Liz um, Loves in. You have to put in that yeah. at the checkout. Fine. And, and that takes you your discount. Get, you know, one of these gorgeous hats. But as I said, we will not be repeating these designs again. They just. And, and yeah. also, what's great about these is they're great for men as well. They're unisex. Of course they are. Of course they so are. And you know what I. Designs, I mean, absolutely. If, if you know somebody who's really into their bees, I mean, this, I hope you won't be offended by this, but this yeah, is, really, it's kind of become my, my gardening hat because, you know, I'm spending a lot of time outdoors and I got caught out when I was filming for this morning and I wasn't wearing this hat during, at, at the time. I later put it on. Um, and I really noticed that the sun was catching me. And of course, you know, very often you're bending down and you're gardening yeah. or pruning or whatever, and the sun is hitting you here. And I just find that this brim is the perfect shape for covering the whole of my face and my yeah. neck and giving me that protection and the ears, you know, particularly for guys, as you say, you know, often they forget, they don't put sunscreen on the, you know, dare I say it, ball patches or tops of the ears <laughs> that can be so vulnerable. So it's, it's a really good shape, but it's so stylish. You know, you could wear this, you could wear this in the city, you could wear it in the country. You can wear it with a pair of jeans and a, and a t-shirt. You can wear it with a bikini and a caftan. You Love know, it. They're, they're, just, they're just as at home you know, wherever yeah. I obviously wear mine all the time. Um, not, yeah. I didn't put mine on today because I thought you were modelling it so beautifully <laughs> that I, you know, I didn't need to. Um, so yeah, that I, it is. We literally, it is a Liz loves thing, and um, well, well, it's so, brilliant. So get your hands on them. Um, while you can. Oh, Nadia, it's such a treat to talk to you. Thank you so much for battling technology. I know this is your first ever Instagram it live. Is my first ever <laughs> live share, but it was because I was trying to do it from my computer. And ah, that was the thing. I didn't give you the vital bit of information. That's my fault. I'm so sorry. I should so have I said you had to do it on your phone. And I managed to do it. So I was trying to do it from my from my computer, and then I realised. Oh. That wasn't going to happen so <laughs> oh well bless you and thank you and thank you so no, much for sharing you. these honestly and thank you for wearing my hat so no, you, i'm sure you'll see it popping up on my instagram time and time again because i genuinely love Good. it <laughs> we'll have to get you one of these b ones as well oh uh, no seriously i'm i'm very happy with this one i'm very happy i think they're all just great love what you do thank you for being with us thank lots you of love so much. <laughs> have a lovely day everybody bye-bye bye, -bye. Thank you. bye. Oh, do you know, I nearly did that thing. Nadia left and then I nearly clicked end on the top of my screen and that would have ended the whole of Instagram. Oh my goodness. But I didn't. Whew, phew. Went over all funny then, thinking that I might have cut everybody off. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Oh, I mean, that's what I love. You know, you go somewhere and you see some need and you have resources and you, you just decide to do it. And you know, good luck to you, Nadia. I really, I really, I actually don't want to take mine off partly because I'm having such a bad hair day today. It, um, I just ran some dry shampoo through my hair before I rushed on here. I don't know what it is. I think Mondays are always the crazy day because Mondays, you know, it's after the weekend and I've, I'm gearing up. I've got umbrella going back to uni tomorrow. So that's all, hopefully that will all be sorted. Um, and then I've got my youngest, he's going back to school on Wednesday, so oh, it's ever doing that endless thing. I've got so many name tapes. Anybody else got name tapes to sew on? Or the PE kit? And I mean, don't know if they'll be using the PE kit, but anyway, we're kind of getting it all ready and all of that. Ah, oh, I need to have just another sip of coffee. Mm. Talking of which, my coffee 
is another great sustainable brand. So don't forget, there are so many Liz Loves things now. It's just so exciting that we're able to support so many exciting uh, brands who are making a difference. New Ground Coffee, the blue here, matches my dress, actually. I'd like to say it was carefully planned, but um, it wasn't. Hey, there you go. So this is a social enterprise. These are guys in Oxford. I've talked about them before. They have uh, ethically sourced coffee. And this is the one that I have uh, every morning. It's called Monte Carmelo. And it's actually, it's also South American. There you go. I guess we've got a bit of a South American theme going on here. This is Brazil and also something called Yellow Catuai, which I should know about, but I don't. Anyway, it's absolutely delicious. But what I love about these guys is that they have um, lots of different blends and you can get discount with Liz Loves and they provide rehabilitation for ex-offenders. So they teach guys coming out of prison who um, you know, need to be rehabilitated back into society and, and given some kind of hope. And they train them how to roast coffee beans and to make all these amazing blends and they give them jobs and a future. And I just think that that's great. And if you're going to buy coffee, let's buy coffee that helps somebody else along the way. You know, it's like all these things. As I said before to Nadia, you know, we all have the opportunity, don't we, to spend our spending power wisely. I think these days we're all really careful with our money and where what we choose to buy and actually if we can make just little changes that actually rather than going into big corporate coffers go in to help the smaller guy along the way then society will be better for it speaking of which I don't know if you listened to my Friday Five and I was with Dr. Asim Malhotra, who is an NHS trained consultant cardiologist, worked in the NHS for 20 plus years and is a real advocate for public health and has been doing quite a lot now with looking at metabolic syndrome, metabolic disorders and COVID and immunity. And I was fascinated, I have to say, with my chat with him. Um, but he... Uh, why am I talking about that? I was talking about coffee and Asim Malhotra. Why was I talking about him? There was something I was wanting to talk about specifically to do with immunity and sustainability. Oh, my brain. What was, what was I saying? You're going to have to remind me of my train of thought. Um, oh, yeah, we go. Julie. Julie says, thank you. Last week, Friday, last week's Friday Five with Dr. Asim Malhotra. Life-changing information. Yes, indeed. And I've remembered what I was going to tell you about. So... At the end of my podcast, uh, after I'd recorded with him, and it's really fascinating, I do suggest if you're at all interested in cholesterol, statins, COVID immunity, low sugar, type 2 diabetes, all of that, then it, it's really well worth a listen. And this is his book, actually, that I was talking about with him, The 21 Day Immunity Plan. And at the end of the recording, he said to me, oh, by the way, Liz, uh, there's a documentary on Netflix that you might want to watch called Saving Capitalism. And I actually watched it last night. And it's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's slightly heavy going, I thought, but it was very interesting. It's set in America, so it's all about the American system of politics and lobbyists and how powerful the lobbyists are and how so much of society is controlled by the interests of big corporations. And it's, it's kind of scary stuff. And I think Asim was talking about it to me because we were talking about the vested interests that go into the pharmaceutical industry and the processed food industry and drink industry and all of that and how powerful these big organizations are. So I guess my connection here is really, sometimes it's really nice to feel that you're taking back a little bit of control and you're helping to support the smaller guys who are out there making a real positive difference, whether they are farming sustainably, whether they're doing some kind of social impact project like New Ground Coffee or, you know, whatever it is, people who are bothering to look after others and put things back. And that's kind of at the heart of so much of what I've done, you know, I like to think most of my life and now want to be championing even more you know even things I've had some comments here about my necklace this is my ivy necklace which is no it's not it's my eucalyptus necklace sorry uh, which is currently on offer on Lizelle Wellbeing with I think it's uke 50 bit of an odd um, offer code but EUC standing for eucalyptus 50 um, because it's half price but this is fair trade gold so that means that the artisan miners who are mining it are fairly paid and protected environmentally and all of those things so it's all about taking that extra step going that extra little bit to make sure that that what we're buying um, actually has some good benefit to it and actually talking about farming sustainably and responsibly september is organic september month 
So I'm going to be doing quite a lot. I'm an ambassador for Love British Food. So the Love British Food fortnight starts, I think, uh, in about 10 days time. I think it's the beginning of the week after next. And so I'm going to be doing quite a lot to champion British food and British producers and farmers and growers. Um, organics is obviously something that's very close to my heart. I don't know if you listen to my podcast with Patrick Holden. Uh, if you have not listened to that yet, please listen. OK, please, please listen. It was the first one of my new series of my Wellbeing Wednesdays, the Lizard Wellbeing Show podcast. That's my long form podcast that comes out on a Wednesday. And he kicked off the series, and honestly, I can think of no better person to kick it off. So thought-provoking, so intelligent, so well-informed, covering so many issues. He was brilliant. And, of course, he was a director, or the director, um, at the Soil Association for 20-plus years. Then set up the Sustainable Food Trust, which I'm an ambassador for and, and really proudly support. And I, I'm in, you know, my fields out here are testament to that very much into regenerative agriculture, which is organic, but more, even more, because it's all about the soil health and fertility and rural economies and all of those things that are just so, so important. Security of food really important you know as we've seen when you know we all the shelves were laid bare earlier this year you know how do we ensure food security anyway lots of really interesting points that patrick discussed so if you haven't listened to that amy i know you'll oh you have already you're too quick amy she's already popped up on facebook there's a link to um, the the episode with patrick holden but you'll find it on your podcast app hopefully you've subscribed so it'll just ping into your feed automatically if not you can just go to any of your podcast providers and take a listen you'll find the Lizard Wellbeing Show if you just key in Lizard Patrick Holden I'm sure it will pop up yeah thank you thank you Liz you say the must listen to Patrick Holden yeah it's uh, it's <laughs> am I going to write my autobiography I would love to write my autobiography I, I kind of feel two things I feel I haven't quite done it enough yet to write about uh, although there is quite a lot to say in some areas um, good and bad uh, and yeah I, I definitely in in the future definitely but there's just so much going on at the moment not least of which of course is the magazine this should be arriving now Liz our well-being magazine do please let me know um, what you think if you have any issues then please contact Warners they're sending out all the subscriber copies you'll see details on the Liz our well-being website for that Amy you might want to just pop a link on there um, we had some issues with the previous subscription company who didn't behave terribly well, um, so we fired them. So they do not uh, look after us anymore. We're now with Warners, who uh, are much, much better. So hearts to Warners, thank you. And they had some issues before. There's a bit of a legacy of people who I think were paying on continuous credit cards who didn't get their subscription reminders. And so there's a few people, I think there's a couple of hundred people who still are affected that we are actually slowly working through. Obviously, the work on that got a little bit slowed by everybody, <laughs> you know, having to work from home or being furloughed or whatever. Um, so not our end but on the um, subscription service end anyway it is all getting back on track so i'm really hoping that going forward we will be able to provide an absolute first class top quality service which is what we need to do because we're now not in the shops no we're only on subscription so big thank you to all of those who are subscribing and supporting there is still that amazing offer we launched at the end of last week with Angela Langford great female founder British beauty brand she's given us um, a rejuvenating eye oil which I absolutely love and there are just a few left of those it's worth 19 pounds and you can get it free with a subscription while stocks last obviously um, so yeah, the, the plastic bags, you know, it's really hard. We're, we're looking for a good eco alternative. Um, so I know that some of the paper bags, because we went away from plastic, obviously, and we started mailing them in um, paper to replace all the plastic. And of course, paper is not robust, particularly when it rains and it can rip. So we are trialing, I promise you, we are trialing um, to make sure that we get proper, robust, eco-friendly 
it's a challenge, but we will rise to it and we will fix it. But you, if you have anything that's damaged in the post, do please let us know, obviously, and we'll replace it. Um, but yeah, we are working on that. It's, it's always, isn't it? You know, it's always you, you try. It's progress. I always used to say, you know, it's progress, not perfection. None of us are perfect, but we all try really, really hard to make the best decisions and do the best we can. Um, so, yes, a few of those subscription gifts still remaining. And of course, if you are already a subscriber, you could use this opportunity to have a gift subscription. So you get the gift sent to you and then you still get the free copy and you still get the free PMP and you can start it later in the year. So this current one, if you want to receive it, there are a few of these still left. This is September, October don't have many because we didn't overprint so there are a few of these if you still want this current one that's just come out otherwise you'll be starting in the next issue which is November December and you know what that means yes Christmas <laughs> I'm so excited oh, I can't wait to start talking about Christmas but I'm not allowed to yet because it's still September and my kids haven't fully left back to school and I always try and say, you, you know, you kind of need to have bonfire night, really, don't you? You kind of need to have the sparklers and whatever and indoor fireworks or whatever it is we're allowed this year <laughs> before we can start getting, you know, start putting up all the, the holly and start talking about making decorations and all of that. But trust me, it's coming. So I hope you're big Christmas fans. <laughs> Otherwise, you may have to find something else to watch at lunchtime <laughs> or later on catch up. Oh dear. Well, it's lovely to be back. It really is. And those of you who have been looking at my Instagram uh, will have seen that I was out yesterday. Yes, I went to my first live event since lockdown. So I was at the Ilford Arts Festival and it wasn't a full blown opera music evening, which is obviously what it should have been. Um, but it was a couple of amazing singers and I recorded little clips from them. And I should actually just share that uh, the reason that the two singers, there's an amazing soprano and a tenor, and I've got clips up on my Instagram at the stories at the moment if you want to take a look. And I think on my main grid as well, I popped a little clip of them singing at the end. If you scroll through the pictures, you'll, you'll, you'll find this little video clip. And what's incredible, two things really. One is they are a husband and wife singing team. They're world-class opera singers. Uh, but they're husband and wife, which means, of course, that they could enact all the love scenes and be, you know, really singing close together, which was which was really special because uh, they didn't have to kind of socially distance like everybody else did in the audience. Uh, but secondly, so Louis, who is the tenor married to Tanya, the soprano, he stepped in at the 11th hour. So there was another tenor who'd rehearsed and I think they sung something like eight pieces from different operas and they were singing in English and French and Italian. I mean, it was amazing from Faust and Figaro and Tosca and Don Giovanni and all the classics. And um, anyway, there was another tenor who had been rehearsing and who was due to, to do it all. And he couldn't make it. I think there was an issue with track and trace. And I think he'd been in contact with somebody, so he wasn't allowed to come. And literally, the, the, li within like 18 hours notice, Louis stepped in and, uh, and took over. And you would never have known. We, we weren't told until the end that he was brought in right at the last minute because it was great. So big thank you to everybody at Ilford Arts for inviting me. Do check them out. They're on um, Instagram and Facebook, of course. You can sign up for next year's programme. So next year. Uh, hopefully they will be repeating all the things that should have happened this year and it was just really great to be able to go out and support some of the live arts because obviously a lot of our musicians and performers have been out of work since March which is you know really devastating and we need to find ways that we can that we can um, really help them Claire on Facebook is just saying your mag your comments seem to have stopped running. I don't know why that should be, but hopefully that will resolve itself. Uh, what do I need to finish up with? Just a couple of other things. Those of you that are out and about, don't forget if you want your little silk masks. These are the ones that I've been wearing. This is so pretty. This is, um, I can't really talk very well with it on. <laughs> this is holistic silk. You get 10% off with Liz Loves. Really like it. It's got a little, not only is it an actual fabric mask, but it has a little pouch here for your little carbon charcoal filter that you pop in and you can just buy refills whenever you need them to go in there. Um, so that is that. And I think that there's a link on Linktree for those and also on um, Facebook. Something else that I've been using uh, quite a lot recently and I'm going to continue to use is my Life Armour. Drops of balance. Oh, my goodness. 
ashwagandha really interesting ayurvedic herb mm. i had some this morning and i have some more now i'm really finding this quite helpful just to regain a sense of balance slight sense of control uh, the other things I've talked about recently, um, Naked Pharmacy, a lot of chat about that last week. This was the black garlic that I talked about. Really interesting. Check that out. There's also, um, I think, 20% discount on Naked Pharmacy. And I use their Saffrason, as you know, all the time. I think that's Liz Love's 20 you need for Naked Pharmacy. A couple of comments that I just wanted to read out really as thank yous before um, heading off. Uh, let me just get to you today. Okay, so yeah, my dress. So this is um, lovely company, Beaumont Organics. I also wore it for my uh, filming when I was doing filming here on the farm for ITV. It's made of organic cotton. Isn't it great? So again, it's organic month, isn't it? Organic September. Might just have to do a little quick stand up because one of my favourite features in any dress, of course, is... Yes pockets love pockets uh so that's that so i'm just going to end with a couple of comments here so this was from hazel uh who emailed us to say hi liz and well-being team uh many thanks for recommending liz's ebook the truth about hrt so informative and brilliant thank you glad it was helpful uh and you said i read it many times before my telephone consultation with a female doctor and happy to find out that she'd done a course on the menopause. Hurrah. Uh, no problem getting the prescription. And she also mentioned that she also used it and was helpful. So all good so far. Well done. It's always good. You know, if you're going in to talk to your GP, it's really important to have all the knowledge and all the information because it's a bit of a postcode lottery. We just don't know who we're going to get. You know, we don't know whether we're going to get a GP like Hazel was fortunate enough to have that goes, yep, absolutely. I use this, of course, you know, great benefits very low risk, of course, or whether we're going to come across that proverbial brick wall. So um, good to have the information. And if you do come across that awful brick wall, then I do explain in my guide how to talk to your GP um, and how to escalate to resolve the problem if it doesn't get resolved. Um, and just a couple of things here. This is from Abigail. Abigail, I think you're on Instagram. I think I saw your name pop up earlier. So thank you very much. Uh, you've written this great email. <laughs> It says, Dear Liz and her wonderful team. Yes, they are wonderful. Big hearts to my team. Thank you. I don't see you in real life because you're all working from home, but I know you are very wonderful. I just wanted to send you this email to thank you for all the work you do and for all the lives Liz has done during lockdown. I've watched every single one of them and I love them all. I used to love watching Liz on QVC with her beauty brand, which I know she isn't connected with anymore, and jewellery. Even back then, I could listen to her talk for hours because of her calm, relaxing voice and presence. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> A little bit more of the balance drops and I'll stay relaxed. <laughs> I have all Liz's books from New Vital Oils onwards. Wow. You have to send me a picture of your shelf. In fact, I've met Liz twice when she was doing her book tours. Once when she released Juice at the White Company in London. Yeah, I remember that. It was a lovely event. Um, I, I took a juicer. Listen to this. I took a juicer and several kilos of beetroots into the white company and made beetroot juice. <laughs> and it was only kind of when I started my demo that I just realized that everything around me, of course, was white, totally pristine. <laughs> and there I was making beetroot juice. Anyway, luckily it went okay, but I was slightly panicked. Uh, and then you say, and then you met me again uh, when releasing Skin in Guildford. Yeah, that was a few years ago now. In fact, when she released the Good Gut Guide, I was so gutted I couldn't make her tour date in Guildford that I went the next day to pick up a signed copy. Um, and I mean that as a commitment as I live in Chelmsford. <laughs> oh, Abigail, you are brilliant. Um, I only have two of her books that are not signed. That's New Vital Laws and Skin Secrets. So I think when Liz has her next book tour, I may sneak them in and ask her to sign them for me. Yes, absolutely. I'm 27 years old, but I've already bought a signed copy of The Good Menopause Guide as a present for my future self. Abigail, you are genius. You are going to be so well armed, honestly, and so knowledgeable. Isn't that fabulous? I also have every single copy of the Lizelle Wellbeing magazine. I could never part with it as they are just full of amazing information that I go back to all the time. I have most of your ebooks. I've even had the Stronger Slimmer You and the Flatter Healthier Tum 
ebooks printed and bound together. I, I mean, seriously, you are you are on the number one podium at the moment. I would love to do the same with the first and second edition of the magazine, which is on my app, but I can't seem to get it off the app to print it. OK, we'll have to have a look at that, won't we? Um, Liz was the first podcast I ever listened to. And the reason I set up an Instagram account, you can see I'm a massive fan. <laughs> so when Liz started her Instagram lives, I was over the moon. Uh, you've shown us so many amazing things from Natalie Clough, Fire Tree Chocolate, Asquith Clothing, brackets so soft, the rare tea lady, Holos Kombucha, your good gut box, brackets, the Bulgarian yogurt is the best yogurt ever. Yes, I agree. Um, and so much more. Thank you for everything. I'm so glad you're continuing the lives even after lockdown as Liz is such a motivation to a healthy, happy life. Thank you for everything you do. You're all amazing. Thank you, Abigail. Oh my goodness, I'm really kind of quite blown away to read all of that. I really am. And just very quickly, a last one here from Bev also uh, that came through on email. And this was actually sent to Amy. So really nice, Amy, to get some recognition here. And you say, hello, Amy, I understand you're the whiz who's behind the scenes every time Liz does an IGTV. So I thought you would be a good contact, a person to contact and say, well done. I wanted to pass on my thanks to Liz and her brilliant team for all the support, inspiration and fun that we've had over the past few months. IGTV lives have been amazing and such a tonic. I don't think I've missed any, in fact. Thank you for the all too tempting offers and discounts, which have been so diverse and helpful during this difficult and trying time when it's good to treat ourselves and boost our own well-being. We definitely do deserve it. I may have taken that last sentence too much to heart, though, as I have, colon, Bought tops from Asquith, signed up for a subscription to Holos, love the kombucha, been taking Bimuno supplement for six weeks now, really helped with IBS. Did a fire tree tasting evening with the family, really fun, the most delicious and complex chocolate I've ever tasted. Bought the slumber drops, alas they didn't work for me, oh boo, they really helped me so it might be worth another little go. Bought the Safrasun supplements, early days with those, fingers crossed. Treated myself to a half price Neroli necklace, kept that one quiet. Have my kombucha and turmeric drink brewing, thanks to the freshly fermented box. Also bought a yoghurt maker to start making my own, very exciting. Bought an eyebrow dyeing kit after watching a Liz tutorial, such a cheap, quick and effective way to have a mini facelift, brilliant tip. Lastly, I have my yearbook too and healthy gut book on the way in the post. My family even sent me a Lizelle birthday card recently, see attached. Please assure Liz, I'm not stalking her, but I'm so thankful for all she does to support us ladies in our second half. And that's from Bev by email. I love that, Bev. Thank you so much. And you've sent a picture, which I don't know if I can share with you. Can you see that? And it keeps scrolling around. Here you go. Can you see that? Oops, where are we? There we go. Let me see if I can. Oh, it keeps flicking around. Um, anyway, you can see, hopefully, what her family sent her, a printout, and it says, <laughs> somebody's written this, but maybe I could have written it myself. You've said, to my Bezzy Bev, so much love on your special day. <laughs> I love that. Oh, uh, you are all so marvellous. You really are. Honestly, this community, I have to say, is so special, and it's just so lovely to be part of it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Andrea says, Liz, you don't realise how much you are keeping us all sane. I am being serious. <laughs> well, you're all keeping me sane too, in as much as any of us can be sane. Um, but I think it's it's important, isn't it? Live life in balance. That's why I, I talk about chocolate and coffee and nice things um, and the fun things, as well as the serious things and the health things and the things that hopefully keep us all going. Anyway, I've just realised the time... I am so sorry. I've been on here yabbering on for nearly an hour. So please excuse me. Um, really look forward to being back with you all. I'll be back here live on Wednesday, Wednesday lunchtime, if you're watching me in real time. Otherwise, of course, it will be on catch up. Um, and again on Friday, lots of good things coming up. Honestly, lots and lots of good things to share. Hope you love the hats. Huge thanks to Nadia for being with me today and for making it work. Apologies, I didn't explain it had to be using a phone and not laptop. That laptop, that was that was my mistake. So great that we got to chat. And um, I'm just going to put my hat back on now. The great thing about a hat, of course, is that you can be having a really terrible bad hair day. Um, and nobody knows. Anyway, sending lots of love to you all. Have a great rest of the day and see you very soon. Bye-bye.